It is happening, as you just heard in Amy's forecast. We are seeing the change in seasons finally. I mean, most of us cannot wait for these warmer temperatures, but actually bearing the legs again, something many of us dread. Gene Hogaboom, the lead fitness trainer at Princeton Club West, back with us this morning. Great to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> see how tall I am? I know. It's the one instance where you're taller than I am. Well, I have heels on too, so that's no fair. Uh, you have one tiny piece of equipment here. Yes. You said th this will really change uh, or at least give you a leg up. Right. No pun intended. This is on, on your legs and your glutes. Well, a great way to not only hit legs and glutes, but your balance and coordination too. So it's just called a balance pad. Um, I don't know if any of you figured that out when we looked at it before. But uh, a few exercises we can do on here to not only, again, work balance, but also our strength coordination. Come down like this. Now so we're going to come up squats. and lift, just like that. Now that's where the glutes are hit. Down I was giving him a, a hard time in between like commercial breaks here. It just didn't look like it would do much <laughs> yeah, for you. But, but you do that, and, and you know, having to balance on one foot creates a lot of core work. Glutes are, in, are being in, uh, go brought in, and hamstrings. The other one thing we can do is a one-legged toe touch, just down like that. And you can see my foot, how much it's wobbling. So each time I go down, I'm having to balance. Now, if you want to make it a little bit harder, keep the leg straight and hits the hamstrings really well. So then we hit the other leg. We do two to three sets of these. What's nice Just about down. this is it's low impact, Yeah. any of this, uh, but it's also not far off the ground. So if, if you do lose your if balance, you do stumble I mean, I, a little bit, right? I have a, a, a balance uh, piece at home um, that actually, it, it's kind of dangerous. I think it's called a wobble board. Yeah, yeah. It, it, uh, it, it'll send you flying if you don't do it right. The other thing we can do here, this also hits the low back, but also glutes and hamstrings. And balance again, we're gonna lift opposite arm, opposite leg. I think we've done these on the show before, yeah. but here on the pad, nice and easy on the knees and up like that. So, so I'm hitting. legs, glutes, and, and your core. Right, and the low back. That's one of the ones that uh, you'll see in, in rehab for uh, low back pain. Gene, realistically, if somebody's looking to tone up their legs, how long does that take? Um, I mean, muscles, it, it takes four to six weeks for muscles to respond to the workout. Um, that's just to respond to the workout. Right, Then right. they actually look like they're toning up because I mean, we're seeing so many claims on the front pages of magazines. Oh. You know? Yeah. So just yeah. to be realistic the, the with anything The balance is something that would, will, will come almost very quickly through through the, a couple of weeks and you'll notice that you have better balance you can do more reps or whatever um, but muscles uh, adapt it takes a good four to six weeks before they start changing and toning up and so forth but that's being consistent during those four to six weeks too and that's the key consistency consistency Gene, great to have you back thank you thank you for consistently being here every Monday. <laughs> yeah. Still ahead to